I could do all things through Christ who strengthens. Greetings and greetings, my fellow nurse brothers and nurse sisters. Welcome to the Nursing Affiliated slash Cardiac Strong channel. I gotta stay hydrated. I'm just telling you, I have the million dollar question of the week. First and foremost, before I even start, I wanna tell everybody and their moms and their grandmas and all especially mis primitos and my cousins, everyone out there following my channel and my new future nursing prospects. So the million dollar question of the day was, and it comes from my boy Kenyon01. Please follow him on Instagram. I told him to do a huge shout out. Ask what to do while waiting on your first day of school and what to expect. I have to say this. He found me on, uh, on Instagram approximately two years ago. Thank you, sir, for being such an inspiration. I'm pleased to announce I'll be starting my first nursing school in fall. Dude, awesome. Congrats and thank you for following. It says, please keep up the motivation and education. Coming, we are watching. Awesome. So please follow him if you guys can. Kenyon01. So the question he was asking is how to get ready and how to prepare for first semester. Now, a lot of my nursing uh, brothers and sisters who have asked me this question, I have so much feedback to it. I'm actually just going to give you 10 tips. I have 10 tips and I'm just going to tell you how I, if I could go back in time and tell myself what to expect, how to prepare and get ready for it. And I'm just going to tell you right now, number one, okay? I can do all things through Christ, which strengthens me. Philippians 4, verse 13. I'm just going to throw out there. you got to believe in yourself. If you don't, believe in the big man upstairs. He will take good care of you. Okay. That's number one. Number two. The second tip I have for all my people that are getting into nursing school for the first semester, please, please, please get ready to get your nalgas or your gluteus maximus handed to you. And I say that in the most kindness, most gestures, uh, most kickback way I can say that to you because it will be time consuming. Number three. The third tip I can tell you right now is definitely open up your schedule, guys. Now, a lot of you guys who have families, who have kids, who have uh, um, who are married, who have uh, for, you know relationships. I will say this: there's been times when you have to sit down and talk to your family members. Please sit down and talk to your family members, your loved ones. Tell them, hey, I'm gonna be gone for two to four years of nursing school. Now, when I say gone, I'm not gonna be physically gone. I'm mentally and academically gonna be gone because you cannot be at all the events. You're gonna be so focused those two, four years that your family, your uh, guidance, someone who's gonna be there for you has to understand and your support system, they have to be your support system that you're gonna miss birthdays, Christmas and Thanksgiving and gatherings. That's just how it is in nursing school. Once semester starts, you come in with your nice clean scrubs and then you start realizing, what, what? <laughs> like little John, where am I going with this? Because nursing school is so tough and it's hard, so please, Number three, have a good support system. I've seen relationships break up. I've seen marriages, uh, you know, they don't follow through. So I definitely, I want to put that out there in first semester. It is, um, it's going to be overwhelming, but in a good way, because there's so much knowledge to, to learn, right? So I'll say that now, definitely number three. Number four, I will definitely tell you this, be organized. Okay, guys, it's very important to be organized. Get your stuff, your stethoscope, your cardiac strong shirt, whatever it may be, your pencils, your pens, your notes, that one backpack. Keep everything organized. Get your journals. I like to have everyone have at least an organizational type of uh, place where you put your stuff at so you know where everything's at. Your notes, your pens, your paper, your backpack, your stethoscope, your care plans, and also your wonderful, awesome nursing books. Keep them all organized, guys, because you're going to use them as references. That's my fourth tip. Uh, let's go fifth tip. And this one's actually one of my favorite ones. Fifth tip, I'm gonna tell you right now, please remember to stay hydrated. Now I see a lot of people that bring you in their huge water bottles, the huge Cardiac Strong water bottles. I only have my Cardiac Strong cup. And literally I have water in here. I try to drink at least, you know, if it's these cups, I try to at least, I don't know, about six or 10 of them. I try to stay hydrated. That's not fluid overload, ladies and gents. If you guys know me, if you've been following me from 2011, I run like a beast. I love to run Cardiac Strong. Um, and that's the whole point I brought this up. We got to take care of ourselves to take care of others, right? So number five, please stay hydrated. And including that, I'm going to tell you another tip with um, that tip on number five. Eat. You are what you eat. So bring some snacks. Get the granola bars. Um, you know, eat a nice big breakfast in the morning because let me tell you right now, you are going to lose sleep. Insomnia will be your best friend. I hate to say it, but you're going to be having so much notes stacked onto each other. Notes on top of notes on top of notes on top of notes. Care plans on top of care plans on top of care plans on top of care plans. So I'm giving you a lot of stuff. Hopefully you guys are getting this down because I really want you guys to succeed and pass. So number uh, six, I will definitely give you another tip on this. 
uh, besides staying hydrated and eating very well. Number six, I will go ahead and let you guys know that, um, yes, like I mentioned earlier, insomnia. You may lose some sleep. You're going to be up typing your paper, your care plans, your uh, path of papers. You're going to be doing your dosage math calculation tests. You're studying, practicing, and you will not have time to sleep. So this is another recommendation I have for you. Please put your phone down. I know I'm doing this with social media. That's my game. That is my uh, empire. This is what I do. I've been doing it for seven years. And this is why I want to help all my nursing students succeed. Okay? Um, if you guys want me to come speak at your school, a speaking proposal engagement, go ahead, get hold of your, um, you know, your point of contact, your educator, your um, supervisor, whoever it is at your nursing school. If you want to come to come speak at your school, let me know. Email me at creditstrong dot um, at gmail dot com. That way I can come talk to you. That, I threw that in there because it's very important. I wish I had someone come talk to me when I was in the first, second, third, or fourth semester to, to kind of get ready for it instead of just a Hiroshima bomb throwing on you and not really realizing, wow, I lost so much, right? And it's totally normal to feel like this. So I would definitely say for six, um, to definitely get the, all the feedback you can, but you are going to lose sleep. You are going to lose sleep. And <laughs> I hate to say that, but it's true, guys. Um, a lot of individuals had no idea. I remember all of us texting each other in school and we're like, man, is this normal? Did you get three hours of sleep? And the other person was like, what? My baby kept me up or, you know, my little cousin called me or, hey, my husband or my wife um, kept me up all night. Um, it, that's kind of what it is. So it goes back to the other rule of thumb that I told you earlier that you have to have a support system. Anyhow, you will lose sleep. So just give your, be prepared for that. Let's go to tip number seven. Tip number seven is coffee. Make coffee your best friend. You're going to need it. You're going to have to stay on point. There's no room for error. So you will have to drink coffee. That way you can stay up. But don't drink it after a certain time. If you guys are working day shift, please do not drink coffee after 8 or 5 o'clock in the evening because you will stay up. You have insomnia even worse, and it's just going to be a snowball effect. You're going to be playing catch up. You can't do that. Speaking of coffee, let me drink a little bit more. And I promise, guys, look, it's straight water. That's how much I drink, how much I drink water. Um, let's go tip number 8. Um, I will definitely say tip number eight, when you guys are first semester students going out there, be prepared to uh, write a lot of notes. So I always say you can't write everything, right? Remember, you're highlighting the whole book, you're writing everything. Remember I said be organized. Tip number eight is bring uh, recorders. So record your uh, class. That way you can listen to it when you get home. You can listen to it when you actually are in bed, about to sleep. Um, on your insomnia, insomnia days or nights, and I would actually put it in your car as you're driving, or when you're running or exercising, or when you're just staying cardiac strong. So that's tip number eight. Tip number nine, I will definitely give you another tip uh, for my boy here, Ken, on asking how to get ready for first semester. I will tell you right now, my friend, tip number nine, if you're organized, you got everything else, please, and I'm gonna reiterate this, okay? Tip number nine, you have to remember why you did this. A lot of people in nursing school start forgetting, they get overwhelmed, they want to quit, relationships don't work out. Uh, they get very, very um, in shock. It's like a culture uh, nursing shock, the stuff you have to learn. So remember number nine, what it is. You are going in this, uh, this field because you want to. Not because you have to, because you want to. This is a career that you're gonna be changing lives, saving lives, and it's not a job. It is you making a difference for people's lives. So remember number nine, why you're doing this, guys. And remember, you are ahead of a lot of people. Remember, you were taking your prereqs or you barely started nursing school. Um, so remember why you're doing it. Number nine is the raising reason why you're doing nursing. And that will be your fuel to keep going. Last one, tip number 10. And this is coming from me from Nurse Mendoza. I will definitely tell you guys, first and foremost, incorporate some exercise. Now, other people watch Netflix or they really chill or Netflix and sitting for... Uh, um, uh, NCLEX, I don't know, <laughs> but I will definitely tell you guys, stay cardiac strong. I'm telling you, it's all about academically, physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. There you go. All those to stay balanced. And I will tell you, if you guys incorporate some uh, exercise, swimming, jogging, whatever it is to stay cardiac strong, it will definitely help you for all the stress levels you have in first, second, third, or fourth sem uh, semester and also with NCLEX. So I will tell you guys, that's my 10th step. Um, my most, I mean, 10th tip and uh don't forget can on one hopefully I answered all your questions that was 10 tips to get ready for first and even second third or fourth semester my fellow nurse brothers and nurse sisters don't forget please subscribe and hit that like button drop a comment what has been your way uh, or if you have any tips please put one on the bottom what has been your all your favorite tip out of my 10 tips uh, which one you like the most and uh, also guys don't forget to stay cardiac strong and peace love advocate and nurse grind um, i love you guys i'll talk to you guys later Peace. So, the, 
La 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 la. Okay, here we go. Damn, I was like, that's brain of spit. <laughs> Cardiac Strong. Join the Nurse Mendoza and the Cardiac Strong team. Bam. Facebook, IG, Twitter, YouTube. Don't forget Snapchat. Nurse Mendoza 1. <laughs>